Five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us than you, but go rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him into the marriage, and the door was shut. And afterward came also other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Truly I say unto you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Unto one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to every man according to his several ability. And right away he took his journey. Then he that received the five talents went and traded with the same and made with them other five talents. Likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants comes and settles accounts with them. And so he that had received five talents came and bought five of the talents, saying, Lord, you've delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I've gained besides them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of your Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I've gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of your Lord. Then he that had received one talent came and said, Lord, I know thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where you've not sown and gathering where you've not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the earth. Look, there you have what is yours. His Lord answered and said unto him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I am a hard man. You knew that I reap where I sowed not and gather where I have not strawed. You ought therefore to have put your money to the exchangers and then at my coming I should have received my own with interest. Take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has ten talents. For unto everyone that has shall be given and he shall have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even what he has. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from the other, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set his sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. And then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. 
I was a stranger and you took me in, naked, and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you to drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and did not come and come unto you? The king shall answer and say unto them, Truly I say unto you, inasmuch as you've not done it unto one of the least of these my brothers, you've not, or you've done it unto me. And so much as you've done it unto one of the least of these my brothers, you've done it unto me. Then shall he say unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then shall he also answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto you? Then he answered them, saying, Truly, I say unto you, Insomuch as you did it not unto one of the least of these, you did it not unto me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal.